Amphibian, an animal that is born into a water environment and can live its adult life on land, such as a frog or salamander. A frog will mate in the water, and its eggs are laid in the water as a bundle. The calm water is usually a healthy environment where they will stay until they hatch into a tadpole. Then they will latch on to nearby floating weeds or grasses. They will remain here until they fully develop into an adult frog. Once they become an adult, they are free to spend the rest of their life mostly on land, but in the water too. Bird, a type of animal that has feathers, wings, and legs. Almost all birds can fly. Two species of birds that cannot fly are the penguins and kiwis. There are almost ten thousand species of birds that have been identified by scientists. Feathers are the unique feature that make birds special. Camouflage, a type of disguise animals use to blend into their environment. Many animals will use camouflage to protect themselves. Some examples of camouflage are green grass snakes, tree frogs, and snowy owls. There are four different types of camouflage. They are concealing coloration, such as the snowy owl, disruptive coloration, such as the stripes on a zebra, disguise, such as a walking stick insect because it looks like a twig, and mimicry, such as some snakes that mimic other snakes to pretend to be dangerous when they are not. Carnivore, a type of animal that eats other animals for food. Carnivores are often called meat eaters. They consume other animals as their primary diet source. Carnivores are predators that kill other animals for the sole purpose of eating them. They most often eat the flesh of other animals. Cells, the smallest unit of all living things. Cells are the building blocks of all living things. Both plants and animals are made of cells. Plants have a cell wall and animals do not. This cell wall is what makes plants rigid and able to stand up. Some cells are organisms themselves. These organisms are called unicellular organisms. Chlorophyll, the green substance in plants that helps the plant use sunlight to make food. Chlorophyll is not present in plants all year. During the changing of the seasons, when leaves change colors, the plants lose their chlorophyll and become dormant during the winter. This phase ends in the spring when the plants revive and chlorophyll is replenished, and plants begin making their own food again. Community: Various populations of animals that live in a certain area and form an ecosystem. Many different communities of animals can live within one ecosystem. For example, populations of zebras and lions can live in the same ecosystem. With different communities living in the same ecosystem area, there is continual competition for food, resource, and ultimately survival. Coniferous forest, a forest where almost all of the trees are conifers. Conifers are cone-bearing trees. These trees will stay green all year long. The cones will grow and eventually fall off the tree. An example of a conifer that may be found in a coniferous forest is a pine tree. Pine trees have pine cones that fall off. Pine cones are often sold at Christmas time. Consumer, any living organism that eats other living things for food. Consumers are animals that eat other animals and plants to survive. Some consumers eat only meat from other animals. Some consumers eat only plants, and some consumers eat both plants and animals. Consumers are part of every food chain and food web. Envi
An amphibian begins its life in blank and lives most of the time then on blank. Land and water, water and land, land and land, water, water. Excellent. Water and land. What feature makes birds unique and special? They have feathers, they have feet, they have a beak, they have fur. Well done. They have feathers. What do animals use camouflage for? Games, food, disguise, friends. Good job. Disguise. A carnivore eats other blank for food. Animals, plants, seeds, nuts. Great job. Animals. Cells are the blank unit of living things. Least useful, largest, most useful, smallest. Good job. Smallest. How do you know there's chlorophyll in plants? Because they need water, because they grow, because they are green, because they have stems. That is perfect. Because they are green.